What's going on guys, so I'm going to show you how to make objects admit light in Blender Render. Lots of people show it in cycles, I'm going to show you how to do it in Blender Render because I like to use Blender Render. And I only found out recently-ish how to do it. Alright, so this is your objects, this is um... This is two objects I'm using at the moment to admit light. As you can see, the brighter I make the image, the more I make the object admit light, the brighter it gets. Alright, so let's start new and I'll show you how to do it. So let's keep my cube for once. Hardly ever keep my cube. <laughs> Alright, let's click on the object. So first of all you want to make texture for your object. So um I'm gonna make mine green this time because I didn't use green earlier. Whoops, wrong thing. This one, I'm gonna make it green. Oh that's a horrible green. There we go. Uh, don't need light source because our cube will be our light source. So right now, you will have blank. You will have nothing on the scene. All right. I'm gonna make the floor white. The floor wasn't white earlier, but I kind of think that will help it reflect more. Up, turn that up. And if I turn that to four, I might be able to reflect a little bit more. All right. So go into your object. So you probably already know this part, but um, you turn, go into shading, and turn admitter to whatever you want. And as you can see. It starts to get a bit brighter, but it's not admitting any light source. It's just getting. It's just being light itself, but not admitting anything. All right, let's put it a bit brighter here, like that. All right, so the way you do it, this is, this is all you got to do after doing that. Indirect lighting, approximate. Turn it up to maybe two. It won't matter in this thing because it's not going to bounce off anything, um, and that's it. Take a picture and it will now admit light. You can put Fallout on and that kind of makes it um, blur a little bit more. You get what I mean? Sort of blur out a little bit more. But that that's it. That's how you make an object admit light onto a scene. I hope this helped. Uh, this can be used to make like lights like that. And then you just go... That should admit light. Um, turn a fallout. There you go. And it, you know, like um, the ceiling lights you get. It can be used to make stuff like that. I hope this was helpful. I hope this well helped you guys out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I guess give it a thumbs up so I know this was helpful. And bye bye.